You want to work for yourself. You want to be an entrepreneur, but you just don't know where to start. Maybe you already have a nine to five and you just don't know how to break free and start doing stuff on your own. Hey there, my name's Brad Smith. Today, I want to share with you that 13 years ago, I was living in downtown Flint, Michigan in the ghetto. I was barely surviving. In fact, one day I had to ride my motorcycle in the snow just to make it to work. And that's when I decided that I had enough. I was ready to make a change. So for 12 months, I saved my money. I worked my butt off. I worked so much that I even rode my motorcycle in the snow to get to work. So I could save up enough to get in my car and drive to Florida. So what are you waiting for? Now is your time to start taking action. And in this video, I want to give you five simple tips that you can actually use to start making that transition. Now it's going to take time. It's going to take hustle. It's going to take patience. But if you wait long enough and you do the right things, you will be successful. You'll be able to take that chance, take that leap to make a career change and start working for yourself. Start using all of the online tools, social media and things to build your brand especially your personal brand. Now, when I first transitioned, I had to wait. I had to wait two years, actually, before I started seeing results. And what I was doing was working from 4.30 in the morning till 9 p.m. I was hustling. I was doing a day job, plus I was doing my entrepreneur. I didn't even have a car that worked. I had to walk to work. So you need to save your money. You need to work extra hard. You have to work double, triple the amount of the normal person because what you need to do is still work hard enough to make money, plus build your brand online. That's where I really want to encourage you guys that close your eyes, take that leap and be patient and get it done because it will work out for you. All right. So tip number one I want to share is what are you most motivated about? Because if you're not motivated to make this career change and do the next career, if you're just doing it for money, it's not going to be worth it. You're not going to be able to wait two years before you see success. You're not going to be able to continue creating content over and over and over about something you're not passionate about. So if you are just thinking, oh, I'm going to start a marketing agency because it sounds like it's going to bring a lot of money, but you're not even passionate about it, there's no way you're going to be able to hustle and outwork your competition. So I want you to find what you are motivated by, start learning more about it, start doing those, those skills to yourself, to your own personal brand. Are you motivated by creating YouTube thumbnails? Are you motivated by social media management? Are you motivated by automated emails? Start doing that for yourself. Start putting together case studies and examples for yourself so you can start showing off your work and showing how talented you are in that one thing you're an expert at. All right, I already mentioned it, but tip number two is you got to hustle. You got to work two to three times harder than anyone else because you already are doing a nine to five job. You need to wake up early and do it before work. You need to come home and do it after work. You really need to put your head down and focus. You need to get rid of all distractions. If you're going out drinking. If you have a lot of friends, you need to cut them. I cut all of my friends. I cut all of my partying. I cut everything so I could focus on becoming an entrepreneur. Tip, tip number three, start doing it on your, uh, to yourself. Whatever skills you're learning, start doing it and posting about it. So this is where the next step is going to be building your personal brand. You need to start breaking things. So I learned how to build websites from YouTube. Then I built a website and broke it. And then I kept building it, and building it, and building it till I finally learned that skill. I created a bunch of emails. They all sucked. So I kept practicing making new emails, new emails, new emails until the emails finally started to work and started to make sense and convert. I started posting on social media. Nobody liked my social media posts, but I kept testing different messages. Same thing for videos. I was nervous to be on camera. So I just kept making videos until I was finally comfortable to make videos like this. So what you need to do is just start breaking things, start teaching yourself and start learning what that one thing is you want to be an expert at. Tip number four, start using tools. You can use tools like Fiverr to hire virtual assistants to help you build simple things. You can use software like Canva to start creating pictures and social media posts and emails. You can use MailerLite for your email marketing that's free to start practicing what automated emails you need to send out, and building your newsletter. These are all keys that you need to start implementing, and there's free tools and low-cost tools that you can start using, like I just mentioned. And tip number five, last but not least, when I first started my entrepreneur journey, I started deciding to help other entrepreneurs. So what I did was I built a podcast, and I started interviewing those people. Now, about five out of 15 of those people would become a customer. So for every 15 people I'd interview, five of them would actually hire me after because I followed up. 
So what can you go do and help other people with? How can you do some free work and some sample work or some interviews or promotions or things you can start building relationships with other people online? Think about how you can do that. That will help you come up with case studies. It'll help you get reviews and it'll help you start getting referrals so you can start growing your online business from there. All right. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to start. I want you to start simple and you can join my grow game plan where I'm going to break all of these systems down, how to grow on social media, what to post on social media, how to set up your emails, how to set up your website, everything in between. I'm going to teach you in my grow game plan. That's free. You can find it in the description below. Then I want to hear about your results. I want to hear when you start. I want to hear what you're doing. I want you to tell me so I can keep motivating you to get to the next step. If you're new to my channel, please comment new. I'll send you some free resources for you to get started. And it'd be awesome if you subscribed if this video brought you any value. Thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day.